Welcome guys. First of its kind and we are looking at how to add time-based effect in Cubase. We say your delay and your reverb effects in Cubase. Now in this tutorial, very short and precise, what you do is first you create an effect channel, come to project, say add track and then you go say effect channel that's what we have done we created fx1 and we created fx5 well now we send these the output that's the audio signal here straight to fx1 and then in fx1 we decide to say let's send uh what we have on fx1 to our fx5 fx5 is your effect 5 okay now we decide to send here to FX5 where we have the stereo delay, okay? Now on that FX5, this is a channel. So if you check the insert, you see the delay, which is H delay, for example. But on FX1 itself, where the direct channel is coming to, we just send a bit of it to it. So this way you are in control of the delay. So when you take it down, the delay effect is reduced. And when you take it up, you have more of the delay effect. That's us how to add your time-based effect beats your delay beats your reverb in Cubase. Your vocal signal is clean, sharp. This doesn't have so much to do with it. But all it does is add the effect, which is a stereo delay, for example. You say more and you say less. So that's one unique way to add your time-based effect beats your delay and beats your reverb in Cubase. If you enjoyed this video, like comment and subscribe all right we have more where this came from you be the extraordinary